This is a search of the Hadith um, regarding jinn or jinns. Notice that we have a hundred referring to jinns. And then also um, here's a statement about jinns and it says that the Muslims, the pagans, and the gems, gens, along with human beings, all prostrated themselves for worship. Okay. Down here, it talks about not using dung for toilet paper or bones because it's the it's the food for the jinn. Okay. Do not pee in a hole in the ground because it is a habitat of the jinn. They live there. So do not pee in their holes that are in the ground. This is a search through the Hadith for Allah loves you, which should be very prominent. It only shows up five times. And it's very unfortunate because in the five times, even though that's a small amount, it's like, oh, okay, well, Allah still loves you, right? But if you read the context, it says, may Allah love you as I love him. Or Allah loves you as you love him. It's not an unconditional love. This is a love that he will give you if you love him. He does not love you first, according to the Hadith. Okay, so here it is in the Quran. Allah loves, we got 20 hits. Okay, so we come down here. We can kind of scroll through this really quick. It says, Allah loves the doers of good. Okay. Unfortunately, this is repeated five times. Let's see here. There's another one. There's another one. Okay. And then, for acting justly, there's another five hits on that. Acting justly. Allah loves people that act justly or righteous, which is pretty much the same thing. Now, this is a search of the Quran for jinn. And notice that we're, we almost got 150 hits. So, my point is, is that if I search for Allah's, Allah loves you, Actually, I didn't find any. That's zero. Um, it doesn't come out and say that he loves you uh, in the Quran. But uh, when we search for the jinn, see, we get 150 hits. I just, I hope you see where I'm coming from on this. This one here says, All praises to Allah, the Lord of mankind and jinns. The jinn were created with scorching fire. There is no foolishness in me. I am a messenger from the Lord for mankind and jinns. I am a messenger from the Lord. For mankind and gens. And we rescued him. And lout to the land of which we have blessed for. Everything with a soul. Mankind and gens. And then we've sent you, O Muhammad. As a mercy for things with souls. Mankind and jinns. In this one here, we can say the Quran is a revelation from the Lord for everything that has a soul. Okay? And I can also say that the Quran is a revelation from the Lord for jinns. Okay, and 
remember earlier we were looking at, you know, when we first discovered gins, you're not supposed to pee in their homes. Okay. Okay, kids. Um, this is the big one right here. Okay. And I did not create the jinn and mankind except to worship me. Um, somewhere above there. Oh, it's right there. We're talking about jinns uh, listening to the Quran. If you read the Bible, trust me, the, the jinn or, you know, little demons or whatever, they're gone. Flat out gone. They will not sit around and listen. I know this. Whoops. I must have got somebody's attention. They hate the Bible. <laughs>